Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea. How are you doing today? I'm currently freezing here in Belgium, but I do have an amazing view outside my window. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about my new 4K video editing workstation from MSI. enjoy my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright for a while I have been editing on the same PC setup so it was time for me to get an upgrade. My 4k edits and work speed weren't as good as they are now. Which means productivity increases and we all love that don't we? I am now rocking a custom built MSI 4k video editing workstation and it's an absolute beast for an extremely good price quality. The reason why you can keep the cost so low is because it's a custom built PC where each component is especially chosen for video editors and therefore you aren't using any useless hardware. And most manufacturers actually charge extra when you buy an all-in-one PC setup. In this setup everything is carefully chosen for a professional video editor so there is absolutely nothing that beats a custom PC build. I'm by no means a hardware specialist but understanding what each component does helps you as a video editor so it's very important to understand. So let's take a look on what's inside this beast and why it is so good. I understand that some explanations are going to be confusing for some but I won't go further into detail as otherwise this video would become too long so I will give a brief overview sometimes too technical but then I would encourage you to go and do your own research for understanding. So let's start with the CPU and CPU cooling. When we edit 4K videos, it takes a lot of heavy loading to process a video, so a CPU will need more energy to finish the task and get overheated quickly. This MSI X299 SLE Plus motherboard has digital power phases, and a power phase is an electric control of a CPU which allows it to control it more precisely and make your CPU more stable. You definitely don't want your PC to crash while you are editing your work. This motherboard supports Intel most core CPU, it's ideal for running video editing software. The CPU core speeds up APC tremendously, more cores would mean faster to complete your projects, though some video editing softwares don't count on CPU as much as they did in the past, now they relate more on GPU, which is your video card, but in general you still have multiple tasks in video editing software where you can get a lot of speed benefits when you have a good processor. The Cooler Masters Master Liquid 240, which cools this beast, and that's very important, combines liquid and air cooling in one closed system and makes no noise. It's fiber reinforced polymer so it's completely water sealed. The combination of this cooler and CPU makes the processing of higher quality videos so much easier and keep the PC at healthy temperature. And trust me it's important. I've had a ton of PC crashes in the past because my cooler couldn't handle my work. I was making fire and my PC just stopped working and I lost a lot of files. So yeah, um, talking out of experience, make sure your cooler can handle your fire. Then you have the RAM memory which loads up the video previews in your video editing software. When I edit 4K videos, I definitely need more memory for a smooth preview. This motherboard with a memory optimization design has 8 DDR4 memory slots which support up to 128GB of RAM. I currently have 32 which is a minimum in my case, so maybe later we'll be upgrading to a little bit more. But it's nice to know I have such a nice limit. I also have a few SSD drives in here. It stands for solid state drive. It's very popular nowadays. These drives are lightning fast. So I'd recommend putting your operation system on there and your video editing software also. And if possible, put your project files where you're working on on this moment. Uh, you, you put them on the SSD to work a little bit faster, but by no means use that drive as a storage because that's going to get a little pricey. So make sure you have a few extra H HDDs lying around or a server to put your completed projects on and store all your documents and stuff like that. The motherboard has two M2 SSD slots, one of them comes with an MSI unique M2 shield which is an effective thermal pad to stabilize the SSD temperature. I also have a dual Intel LAN port for uninterrupted transmission as I need an internet connection and a connection to a homemade server. A friend actually turned my old PC into a server to store all my projects on 
and also you can stop waiting for slow internet because downloading and uploading can go twice as fast with this motherboard you can have double internet bandwidth one LAN port for the internet and one for intranet video footage normally needs huge storage capacities and as it's my job it needs to be as secure as possible to save the precious files the Barracuda Pro, which is the name of the hard drive in this PC, can run up to 7200 RPM. It's the fastest 3.5 inch hard drive on the market. It's even covered by a global 5 year warranty and 2 year rescue plan. And then lastly, the excellent and stylish PC case, which is just an eyegasm on its own. One of the biggest problems I had with my previous PC is that it produces a lot of noise, especially when I'm recording tutorials. That's a big problem. I have never ever had a PC that is so quiet I can barely hear anything while it's turned on. And I'm not exaggerating. Let me show you a video to a close up of my previous PC. And that was supposed to be one of the most quiet PC cases. And let's compare it to this new MSI build. absolutely stunning. I record these at the same audio levels and the difference is literally huge. The Cooler Monster Monster Case H500P features two big RGB fans in the front. These are able to generate huge airflow and spread the heat. The tempered glass side cover allows you to check the awesome mechanical inside of the PC, which is just a masterpiece on its own. This case excels great airflow with two fans. The Cooler Monster V750 compact power supply could also be your choice for a low electricity usage. All right, so that's my PC. I hope you enjoyed this little overview on my PC. A lot of people are always asking, what is your build? What do you have under the hood there? So now you know what I am working on. And if you want one for your own, definitely check the links in the description. I have a link to every single component of this computer or the initial link, which is the entire build itself. So links in the description. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. And then I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>